The audio bot is an Arduino controlled microphone that monitors shop noise. If it hears a heavy tool like a saw run, it automatically starts the air filtration system. We don't have to do a thing, but we can also control it with these two buttons here. We can start it and stop it, add time to the runtime, whatever else. It's great, but if that's not rock and roll enough for you, it's also radio controlled. Our wood shop air cleaner is called the Fanboy. It's an 1100 cubic foot per minute fan that's capable of cleaning the air in the shop eight times per hour. We documented the Fanboy in a video that's linked here if you want to see it. But suffice it to say, it's a wicked powerful air cleaner. So the Fanboy is really strong. It can clean all the air in the shop. All it needs is an automatic way to start. And we're going to use this little thing right here to accomplish that automation task. This is a solid state relay. It allows us to turn 110 volt power on and off by using a microcontroller. We're going to use an Arduino for this, and we're going to make it sound activated. To house all of this, we built an orange box. It's got the Arduino power supply and microphone on the top level, outlets for the fanboy on the side, and the solid state relay buried inside. But we decided to make some changes. And our changes weren't going to fit in this box, so this became obsolete and eventually became something we just stuck on a shelf as a conversation piece. You may have seen it in earlier videos. Upon detecting a saw running, the Arduino starts the fanboy for a certain amount of time, and we were originally going to use this eight-digit LED display to show minutes and seconds. Then we realized that we needed to show hours, minutes, and seconds, and it became too difficult to do it on this eight-digit display. So we switched to a liquid crystal display so that we could actually type in letters and numbers and other things to make it easier to read. This display is larger, so we had to build a bigger box. The new box was very simple to build and was put together in the normal way. The hardest piece of the new box was that we had to plug in the fanboy for dust collection, but that manual process would soon change. Also, we read your comments about us having a pristine shop. That's not really true. It's a mess much of the time. So we eventually find ourselves working on whatever horizontal surface is available. This is the table saw. Notice that I've raised one of the outfeed wings on the right. There's one on the left and the back as well. The table saw was happy to help. The new box is large enough to allow all of the components to be mounted on a single surface. I moved the electrical receptacle to the bottom in the hopes of better managing our cables, and then I wired up the 110 volt power. The Arduino was mounted on standoffs to allow us to pass wires underneath it. Okay, I've got the basic electronics hooked up. Nothing is uh, connected, but I do have the solid state relay wired into the 110 volt power, and I've got this lava lamp here plugged into the output. So all I have to do is pass between three and 30 volts of power across this pole. And if, if the solid state relay is functioning properly, I'll get this to turn on. So I just got a nine volt battery here because we haven't hooked it into the Arduino yet. But let's test it out. On, oh, look at there, off. So the relay is working. Now I just have to build the very elaborate system to turn it on and off in multiple ways. And that's exactly what I did. This is the wireless control module. You see it being wired in now. It will share space with the liquid crystal display, Arduino, and other components inside the box. And let's talk about those components. Here's the relay, the 9 volt power supply for the Arduino, the Arduino, the liquid crystal display, the radio control module, the microphone, and the hole will pass the USB cord through to program the Arduino. The Arduino was then programmed to manage input from the microphone, the two buttons on the front, which you can see detached in front of the box right now, and the radio control device. This allows us to have the unit turn on, whether it hears a sound, whether we push buttons on the face of the unit, or if we use the remote control from across the room. If the microphone hears something, it starts a job for two hours. If the buttons are pushed, it adds one hour to the runtime or starts it for an hour. Same with the radio control and the red button stops it. Look at there, it works. Everything's functioning properly. We can move forward now. The final step before testing was to attach the control panel to the face. 
I made a mistake here. I used four old machine screws from an old project box, which was great until one of them snapped off and broke part of the wood. All right, so it's all put together. Uh, I broke that screw off. They were old screws and were stripped and everything, but I went out to the shop and I looked in the parts box and I found these, these bronze screws from, I don't know what they were in the past, but I found a bunch of them. There's like 12 of them. So I put those on instead and I'll use those to put the plexiglass on that we'll put on next step. But for right now, we're here to test it. I've got the fanboy controller up on these uh, goblets that we got in the Philippines back in the 70s. They're, uh, they're, they're great goblets. We got a whole box of them, but they're really good for supporting electronic equipment. So this is sitting here holding it the way it's going to be in the shop. All the things plug in down below and the microphone is right here, Arduino and the, uh, the solid state relay. And really this whole thing is just a fancy way to turn this on and off, this solid state relay. You pass a few volts across it and it will launch a 110 volt device for as long as you have it running. So the Arduino and everything is a fancy timer to turn this on and off. So we could just use an on and off switch, but you know we don't do things that way here. So anyway, what we're gonna do is we have this minor award plugged into the controller. It's, the major award is in the front window where it belongs. We've got the minor award here uh, to, to test it. Now we don't have power tools out here. Uh, so, uh, and we have neighbors and it's late at night right now. So what I did was I went out and I found a saw sound effect from somebody named Killer Canine. Put it up on the web about four years ago. Shout out to Killer Canine. Don't know who you are. You gave me exactly what I needed and I'll link you in the video because you rock. Anyway, what is it? <laughs> it's a table saw. So watch this. So it detected the sound of the saw, which is roughly the same level, it was kind of loud right there, and it just set up for a two hour run to run the fanboy, which in this case we turned on our minor award instead of a, a air cleaner because we're not in the shop right now. So it's counting down right here and it's all set and ready to go. Now I can add time if I push this green button, if we made a really big mess, and I can push this button and I can add. So now it's three hours and 59 minutes that's counting down. I can do the same thing with this remote. You can hear the relay clicking when I do it. So I just added, now it's running for five hours and 59 minutes, no problem. And it'll keep running and automatically shut off when it's finished. Or I can push the red button and that takes it to zero time and shuts everything off. So fully automated and remote controlled, also manual controls, what's not to love? Let's go try this thing in the shop and see how it works for real. All right, so when it hears a sound loud enough, it'll automatically turn on. And, Does huh? that mean if I scream really loudly, it'll turn on? Uh, it should, give it a try. <laughs> so we can use power tools or screams to turn this thing on and off. <laughs> It's gonna run the it's gonna run the, the fanboy for two hours now because you screamed. <laughs> and now all the neighbors are wondering what we're doing in here. I love that. <laughs> With everything mounted, it's time to cut the plexiglass to cover the electronics because who wants dusty electronics? Holes are drilled in the plexiglass for the microphone to see out of, or I guess to listen out of, and then six holes for screws to hold the plexiglass in place and keep the dust out. Also to let those LEDs shine through to make our shop look super cool. That's an important design consideration. So here's how it's programmed. When the microphone hears a sound, it turns on a two hour runtime job for the fanboy. So the fanboy will auto shut off after two hours. Or you can push the red button and shut it off manually. If you push the green button, or use the remote control, it puts a one hour job on or adds an hour to the currently running job. That way you can add as many hours as you want if you've got a lot of dust. Here, wait a minute, I'll add some hours here so you can see by pushing the green button. Just that simple. And you can stop the whole thing by pushing the red button and killing the job. So it's all put together now, it's ready for us to mount on the back wall, which is the original plan. But we've run into a little bit of a problem. You see, this is the original controller, and it was designed to fit right here. Underneath all this stuff, it was sized to fit. But when we switched to the LCD readout and it made a few other changes, uh, it made it too tall to fit back here, so now I've got to do some rearranging. 
moments later. All right, so finished rearranging. I moved the air filter box up and I took the goggle box off and I took a French cleat and put it here on this pegboard, which is probably illegal to put French cleat on pegboard, but that's okay because I realized that what I really want to do is tear this whole thing out, put it on a French cleat wall. We'll do that later. For now, we have an illegal French cleat here holding this up. It's in place, it's ready to go, it's plugged into the power of the shop, the fanboy is plugged in, we've got the table saw out here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this piece of scrap wood um, and see if it can detect the saw going. Um, and, and if it does, the, the fanboy is right up here and it's, uh, it'll start filtering as soon as it hears something. When it hears sound, it'll put two hours on the clock and it'll run. So let's start the test. So that's the audio bot. It's intended to make our shop more hands-free so we can come out here and do our thing and it'll run for a couple of hours after we leave and keep the dust down. The fanboy was a huge addition to the shop. The amount of dust that's laying on everything is a fraction of what it used to be and this will allow us to run longer fan jobs automatically and not even have to think about it. It's a great little thing. It's a little sensitive on the microphone. We have to fine tune a little bit and I may make some changes to the code. But uh, overall, we think it's pretty cool. It was part of the Fanboy project originally. It just took us this long to build it because we had other stuff going on. But uh, we love it. It's great. As always, thank you so much to our patrons. You help us do this. Uh, seriously, we probably have $30 in this project and, and you guys help us buy those components to put them together. And you make our shop look so nice with all these LEDs. So thank you very much. If you like what we're doing here and you wanna see more, and there's always more, make sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell and join us. We'd love to have you around. New video every Friday. Check out other videos, they're fun. Hey, we'll see you next time. Cool, huh?